the Scots. And then, of course, we got the Rapids coming up. Yeah. Welcome back to Guts, the action sports show that asks, do you have it? They got it today, and the Extreme Arena is heating up for our next event. But before we do that, it's time for Rusty to spill his guts. So, Rusty, spill your guts. Russell Rusty Canary is 12 years old. He enjoys visiting theme parks and playing baseball. Rusty likes riding his bikes in the street. Parked cars don't. All right, and that's Rusty. Hope he doesn't run into any of those parked cars. Our next event is called White Water, and we are going to create in our pool a raging river that is going to toss our players around like rafts in the rapids. Only through sheer strength and intestinal fortitude will they be able to make it. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo, talk to me about the rules. Mike, our players will maneuver their boats around two buoys. Our spotter at the end of the pool will make sure that they touch the end of the pool. Time penalties will be added for any violations. Best time wins. So, on your mark, get set. All right, and that's Shelly Ely having some trouble as she's getting started here. She's got to make it around the buoy. All righty. Getting so she's got to get the right angle to make it around that buoy. She's getting definitely hung up in those rapids there. That water is getting all over her, but she's determined to get through. Yeah, there's the grimace on her face as she makes it around, and she's getting from the high five, and there she is. All right. And that's Shelly, Ely, like a water eel, through that water. They're getting the raft into the pool for our next player. Rusty, let's go to the official time. Shelly finishes in 26.9 seconds. 26.9 seconds. Excellent. For our first player, and it looks like Rusty's ready. On your mark, get set. All right, Rusty, getting his paddle, his oar, in the water. He's got to hit. A serious angle, he's getting hung up by the end there, and the water is, is tossing his boat around like the SS Minnow in that terrible, terrible storm on Gilligan's Island. Oh, he's, oh, he's gonna have some real trouble. He's gotta make it around that buoy, folks. He's got to get his paddle in the water. There he goes, yeah, 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 he's moving it now. It all takes the proper form of getting the left side of your paddle, and then the right side because the water can definitely toss your boat around. And that raft, here we go, he's very close. All he needs to do is hit, he's gotta hit the high five. He cannot just hit the four, he has got to come over to our judge and get the high five. He's having some trouble here, folks. But he, oh, he's almost there. He's almost there, he's gonna have to back his way in at that angle, folks. Some definite trouble for Rusty. He is certainly frustrated at the time here. And there's the high five right there, okay. So, let's go and get the official time from our referee. Rusty finished in 64.4 seconds. We held the time until he directly touched the spotter's hand. There we go. Okay. It looks like Heather the Crush is ready. On your mark, get set. All right, here's Heather. Got to make some good time around that first buoy. And no problem making it through those first jet screams. Oh, she's making unbelievable time. She's crushing the competition. She's living up to her nickname. There's the high five. Fantastic finish on that one, folks. And now let's go and get the official results from Mo. Mo. Heather finished in 18.2 seconds. That puts her in first place, Shelly in second place, and Rusty in third place. So that is Heather diving right into the pool in her boat and maneuvering her way. She had incredible balance on that one, folks, and just drove right past the first buoy into the second buoy. Water was no problem. And now we're going to actually take a look at the leaderboard right now and get the official score. Mom. Mike, we have a tie in first place. Both Shelly in blue and Heather in purple have 700 points. And Rusty in red is in third place with 400 points. Okay, a tie right now. And now it's a chance for the Crusher to spell her guts. So crush. Spill your guts. Heather the Crusher Crew is 14 years old, an avid gymnast. She's participated at the Junior Olympics. The Crusher takes a more delicate approach to the vault. Her advice, don't tow the line, you might break it. And that's the Crusher. All righty, well, she'll be definitely vaulting in our next event. It's called Spirals. 
and we're going to get a chance to see our players do a little Joe Montana action right here. We're going to give them an elastic cord to get the height. Their aim is going to be important here. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. At the sound of my whistle, all three players will jump off the aerial bridge with a football in their hands. The object of the game is to get as many balls through the tyres as possible in 45 seconds. The players must bounce on the ground before they throw their footballs. The player with the most balls through the tyre wins. On your mark, get set. And our players are off right here. There is Shelly getting hung up. It takes the utmost precision, and there's like a split moment while you're going up that you have to aim and throw the football into the tire. If you try to throw the football while you're still going up, oh, the ball will keep going up. Imagine having Lawrence Taylor rushing at you. You're the quarterback. You're John Elway. He's about to tackle it. And then, boom, you jump out of the way. You say, sorry, Lawrence, I'm jumping out of your way. And it looks like Rusty just got one in the time. We got 10 seconds left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And oh, just on the end there. Heather the Crusher just missing getting the football into the tire. There's a look at Rusty and Heather as they're getting prepared. Moe's got the results. Mo. Tied in first place, we have Rusty and Heather with one ball each, and Shelley is in third place with no balls. <laughs> excellent. An excellent, excellent game so far. You have seen our players eat dust as they went through the bike motocross race. You have seen them go through the rapids. You have seen them throw footballs like Joe Montana. We have had an excellent game today. Let's check out the leaderboard. In the lead, we have Heather with 1,000 points. Coming in second, Shelly and Blue with 800 points. And in third place, Rusty and Red with 700 points. That is that, and I gotta tell you something. I think there should be a new James Bond movie called Live and Let's Climb. What do you think? The aggro crag coming up next. You stick around.